Good morning and welcome to 21 days of a uh, little bit of wisdom with uh, with me. We're going to read a scripture every day, get some wisdom out of that and reflect on that. Today we're going to look at Song of Solomon chapter 2 verses 10 to 13. My lover said to me, "Rise up my darling, come away with me, my fair one." Look, the winter is past and the rains are over and gone. The flowers are springing up. The season of singing birds has come. The cooing of turtle doves fills the air. The fig trees are forming young fruit and fragrant grape vines are blossoming. Rise up my darling, come away with me, my fair one. This uh, is a beautiful picture of a lover talking to his beloved and asking her uh, to rise up and come away with him. um uh, maybe from her inactivity or maybe she is lying down so he's asking her hey it seems the winter is past the season is changed a new season is coming it's time for us to begin to enjoy the new season it's a be- it's it's almost a beautiful picture of jesus talking to each one of us it's a uh, it's him inviting us those of us who are inactive his beloved those of us who are inactive probably stuck in um, you know every day's life asking us to get up and enjoy the new season he has in store for us i believe from you know even though we have finished six six months of this year already the next six months are a new season for some of us for for, for that matter for all of us it is jesus who is inviting us right now to rise up and come away with him from uh, you know from a life that is uh, that are almost like a cold barrenness of the winter into a new spring uh, to each of us this three verses have three calls in it number one it's a call to rise the lover calls his beloved to stir up from her uh, passivity and get up from her bed and and um, uh, you know step into something new um in the same way we need to respond to god who as he calls us um be willing to stir up ourselves from from our passivity and leave what is familiar behind and be willing to help um you know move into step into something new in our lives so it's a call um to to rise and it's a call to let him lead you know come away with me he says to his lover that means he's asking us to follow him the fruitfulness of a lover describes um to 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 his beloved the new season um the rains are gone the blooming flowers uh, have come the chorus of bird song the fruitful fig trees um the fragrant grape grape graping wines um were the were, were experiences waiting outside of the door as long as you stay inside and stay with familiar you don't experience something new so the lover is calling his beloved to get up from what is familiar to come away with him to outside for a new season which has new things in store for for her in the same way we ought to follow the lord into new season so that we can you know so that we can begin to experience this new ex- experience new experiences in our lives uh, we can trust we can trust god we can trust that he is moving us into better things so it's a call uh, to arise it's a call um to follow him as he leads us and it's a call to intimacy the lover wanted uh, to spend time with his beloved that's why he's asking her to come out from her inactivity he wants to enjoy her he wants to um you know get closer to her in a in a very intimate way in the same way let us respond to this divine invitation from our lord jesus to have a deeper love for him fall in deeper love with him um to lean closer to him um and, and to know more of him um the the closer we get to his heart um the more we fall in love with him the more we have wisdom for every day's life the more he will guide us and lead us let's begin this new season by returning to our first love um the lover of uh, our life that is jesus christ um so i want to leave you with um with something to reflect on um maybe two questions to reflect on today as you begin this day what areas of your life um do you sense that god is doing a new thing or maybe what is what is what is, what are those areas in your life that you're thinking of 
you know, asking God for a new thing, new season in your life. Uh, that's one. Think about that. And if the second question is this, that if God wants you to move into a new season, or if you are expecting God, uh, God to help you to move into a new season, what are those areas in your life that need to be gotten rid of? That familiar things, those old habits, ways of thinking, preferences, or relationships that you need to you know, leave behind in order to move into new season in order to experience something new. Think about that. Today when you pray, pray this prayer, God, I want a new season. If you want a new season, ask Him for a new season. Or if God is leading you into a new season, tell Him, God, I would love to move into a new season. And if there are areas that you need to get, get rid of, pray that, God, could you help me to leave what is familiar, what is old, what are my old ways of thinking, so that I can get into something new that you're going to do. I pray that uh, you would begin to enjoy the new season as you step into it, as you follow your lover, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.